cycle per second. That's how fast your processor is. It can execute 3,000 3, million instructions per second. So that is the speed of the processor. So the basic performance equation of your processor time t equal to n multiplied by s divided by r. The time t is processor time that we use to execute one program. n number of instruction in that program. s is what? A number of basic steps per instruction, which means <coughs> How many clock cycle you need to execute one instruction? And of course, R is a clock rate. Okay? Now, let's see. Our goal would be to minimize or to maximize T. You want to minimize T. And to minimize T means that you have to reduce N and S, and you want to increase R. Okay, so the faster processor will have less number of instructions and less clock cycle per instructions, but has a faster clock rate. So that is the um, very basic performance equations. I think we're going to revisit this in the more details later, probably later in the, in the class. Not today's class, but later in the terms. Okay, so N. How can you reduce N? You say you want to reduce N. How, how do we reduce N? N is number of instructions, right? Machine instructions. So to reduce N, a smart compiler. A good compiler can compile, can compile your high-level programs into a less number of machine instructions. So to reduce N, smart compiler. How about S? How can we reduce S? Number of basic steps. You can use, for example, pipelining. You know, pipelines, just a preview. We'll talk about pipeline right later. You can overlap the instruction like this. So instruction has to fetch, execute, and write. So you can overlap them. So that makes one instruction need less number of clock cycle. So how to increase R? That's purely a hardware. To increase R is you build a faster circuits, right? You can't really do that um, at the um, software level. Okay, um, now let's talk a little bit about um, single processor. What is a single processor? What is a multiprocessor? And what is a network of workstations? 